In March of 2020, Breonna Taylor was shot and killed by officers inside her apartment. Four years later, Congress considers the Justice for Breonna Taylor Act. Taylor did not commit a crime, and she was not the person police were looking for the night she was killed. Senator Rand Paul and Congressman Morgan McGarvey are now behind an attempt to ban no-knock warrants. They tell Wave News reporter David Manningly they're trying to prevent similar bloodshed. John, this attempt to ban no-knock warrants nationally is drawing praise from Breonna Taylor's mother, who continues her fight for justice. A botched raid, an apartment riddled with bullets, an innocent woman is gunned down by police in her own home. And now Breonna Taylor's mother, Tamika Palmer, approaches another sad anniversary. It's hard, you know, I, I tell people all the time that I feel like I'm trapped in March the 13th. It, it just still continues. Just two days short of four years since LMPD officers shot and killed Taylor, Palmer again steps in front of the cameras in hopes of a favorable change. Palmer and others show their support as Republican Senator Rand Paul and Democratic Congressman Morgan McGarvey announce a bipartisan attempt to pass the Justice for Breonna Taylor Act requiring officers to identify themselves and their purpose before serving a warrant. If there was no no-knock warrant that happened that night, uh, I, I don't think that it would have been carried out that way. McGarvey says the issuance of a no-knock warrant was the first of a series of critical LMPD errors. Officers say they did knock and identify themselves before breaking down Taylor's door. But because body cameras were not worn, questions remain. I think if we ban this dangerous practice, then we won't have as many terrible outcomes like what we saw here in Louisville. Louisville Metro Council banned no-knock warrants in 2020. A year later, Governor Bashir signed a state law restricting them statewide. Senator Paul says a national law could add new protection to suspects and officers alike. I think if the local ordinance and the state ordinance had been that there's a good chance Breonna would still be alive if those had been in place previously. Passage of the act, however, would bring Palmer just limited satisfaction. It's been hard. It continues to be hard, but um, I still fight and I, I still make sure that what happened to Brianna doesn't happen again. The ACLU is also backing the act. Both Paul and McGarvey are expecting bipartisan support in Congress. Reporting live, David Mattingly, Wave News.